Hello everyone, Tamara Dilks, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here on the Gold Coast in Australia. Uh, I thought I'd jump on today and this is the first time showing my face on YouTube. Uh, I had to build up a little bit of courage but I'm here now so you know who you're all speaking to now. This is me and um, today I've got a fun project for you. Um, I'm going to do it in a nine part series as I have nine cards to share with you. I started off doing it and thought I'd get it all smashed out in one long video but uh, it took about an hour to get three cards done and there's nine in the series so I thought that might be a bit long to watch a three hour video so I've decided to break it all down for you. Uh, before we get started, my host code for the month of June is DWF3BPWN. And if you use this host code in my online store during the month of June, um, I will send you a free gift uh, at the end of the month. My online store is tamaradilks.stampinup.net. And why don't I turn you around now and we can get started on our project for card number one. Today I have a big project for you. I have this sheet that I've already cut little bits out of. I'd call this the feature page of the um, Fresh as a Daisy uh, designer series papers and we're going to use all of this in uh, some projects so I think we've got nine cards that I will be going through with you today and out of all of this this is the only pieces I have left over um, I actually did want to use this piece but I messed up a design and it wasn't working for me so I changed it and ended up with a little piece left over but that's not too bad considering you know not a bad wastage okay so I have all of my things ready so I've got everything organized here and this is everything I've wanted to use I haven't fully decided on on this so some of the cards I've thought about but I haven't actually um, completed them I might change them up I may not even remember what I've done so this first card I've got my little cheat sheet here and this is on a card base um, half an A4 and so that is uh, 21 centimetres by 14.8 and a half, scored at 10 and a half. I've then got a uh, garden green. I've got two mats of garden green. They're exactly the side, so I thought put one on the inside. And they are 9.3 across by 13.7 down. And then I've got my insert and I have not, oh yes, I have written it down. It's 13.4 by nine. So I'll put that on the inside. Uh, then I've got my designer series paper. So that's this piece, which these were made for Imperial design. So some of these, or actually most of uh, the DSP cutout bits I've trimmed down just slightly. So this ends up being 9 by 10.2. And then I've got some wavy trim, which I thought originally I wanted to use the gold ribbon, but that's no longer in stock. Um, so I thought, oh, well, I could use some gold... Uh, Uh, specialty paper gold specialty we have paper would look good but then I actually ended up deciding on the wavy trim and I have made this mat on a piece of um, 
bubble bath and it is I haven't measured it so let's have a quick look so it is three and a half by nine to go along the bottom and all I've done with that is I've stamped with my white um, white ink and then embossed it with the white ink it does dry a bit slower than the other inks but it will dry um, quite quickly as well um, so just make sure you put your embossing powder on it and uh, do that straight away so I did sort of a clump of flowers and then I embossed it did another clump and and continued with that and I just have cut it down. I thought I might use these two pieces in the center and I have some leaves that I have stamped in uh, Garden Green and I stamped just the outline of one of the flowers in um, Bubble Bath and what was I going to do with it? I don't know. I didn't, I actually put this on to die cut and the die moved and it didn't cut out right. So I just sort of cut around it and just made up some design. And then I have a piece here. I've made a little tag punch and this sentiment is from the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. So it's You Made My Day. And I've just stamped that in tuxedo black uh, on some bubble bath and just a little border of basic white. Okay, now I do have two strips here of white and basic white, and I can't actually remember what I was going to use those for. So we'll just go with the flow and see what happens all right so on the inside we were going to put these strips weren't we and what I might also do is use the um the set of three flowers on a block and use Bubble bath, where are you? There it is. And I might just stamp that on the inside as well. So I'll just stamp some in this corner. And that's all. Oh, no, I will put some up in the other corner. But probably just half of that. There we go. And then I'll pop that back. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is it here one of these little strips down the bottom I don't know if I'll use one or two I think I might just use the one get rid of that one it's been a few weeks since I've done a video so I'm sort of a bit out of whack at the moment I had a um, migraine for five days and I haven't been able to get my medication because the supplier is all out of um, all out of stock so I've just had to deal with it for nine days uh, for five days straight that wasn't very pleasurable so I, I didn't do any any videos and now I'm just sort of thinking oh how do I do this again <laughs> All right, adhere this to my mat, which will go to the back. Just with an even border around. 
and then I can pop that inside and that's just so that gives me something oh it gets all of these little pieces out of my way Yep. Okay. There we go. That's the inside. Now the outside, I can probably adhere. Now I'm going to put all this onto my mat first. So we've got this one, but also this. So I think I'm going to overlap that a little bit. Yes, pop this bit down. And then this one on top. And then I'll decide what it was I was actually going to do. Okay. Now, I suppose I can put down my wavy strips. So I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue right on the edge there. This hanging over just a tad on either end. This might take a little while to adhere that glue down. There we go, it's getting there. Oops, might need to put a bit more. Might take a little bit to get this wavy trim to stick, but once it sticks, it's it's there forever. Well, I hope it's there forever. Be nice if someone kept a card for that long. Okay. Oh, it's not real straight. Just adjust that a little bit. Okay, now I might put that onto the front of the card. And I've got this flower, might pop it in there on some pop dots. I've got this sentiment, some leaves. Oh, everything's sticking to me. I've got some glue stuck to me. Not sure where I want these yet, so I don't know if I want them up there. One down there. Where am I going to put this sentiment? Do I put it there? Or should I put it down here? Maybe if I put it down here, I might want the flower over here. Let's have a look. Turn that around. Put 
down in there. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. So what I might do is get my mini dimensionals. Actually, no, I won't. I'll get a strip. Let's see. Where did I put those strips? Um, no, that's my normal ones. Okay, here they are. Let's see how much I need to cut off. Just use one strip of that in the center. Pop that down there. Now I might need my minis. go and then I'll just use probably some of the liquid glue just a little spot on the edge actually I might get my bone folder and just curl these up a little bit give it a little bit more dimension underneath one can go off there a little bit some dots here do we want some gems on there for a little bit of um, contrast I think we've got these um, moody mauve ones I think they would either those or the wild wheat I'm not sure I think I might go these for a little bit of extra contrast oops so we go one down there. Yes, I like that colour. We'll put one over here. And one more small one. So you sort of make a triangle so we could go probably up in here, I think. That looks good. And I've also got some Wink of Stella. I think I might probably do a splatter on this one. Oh, found another leaf. Okay. Where are we going to pop this one? I 
didn't want them together. I thought it made it look like a bit of a butterfly. So <laughs> we'll just put it there. I think I might put some Wink of Stella on the inside of that. And then tap some along my card if it's working. Let's see. some of that to come through a little bit of a squeeze make sure some comes out oh, here it comes there oops that's a bit too much Okay, let's have a look. That is quite a fair bit of Wink of Stella on there. Okay, so that is card number one. That's front, that's the middle. And I'll just pop that out of the way so it can dry and we'll get stuck into card number two.